Live from SRTV, welcome to Face Off. Today we will be joined in conversation with Olukayode Salako. He is the president for Patriots and Truth for Stability in Nigeria. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And we will also be joined by wise man Kunle Ajayi, a public affairs analyst. Welcome. Thank you very much. Don't forget that you can join the conversation on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Sahara TV using the hashtag SRFaceOff. Let's uh, begin. Now, recently, and I'll start with you, Salako. Recently, Sahara reporters conducted a poll on the performance so far of President Muhammadu Buhari. He had four years before he was inaugurated again on uh, the 29th of May 2019. Has he, in your opinion, turned the fortunes of this country around in four years? <laughs> definitely, definitely uh, no. But um, work is still in progress. Nobody, I mean nobody, can govern um, a socially typical society like Nigeria and claims to have transformed the fortunes. Four years is too short for that. Nigeria has been existing before 1960. And we still keep complaining about so many things which are still the same typical problems of Nigeria. Insecurity, poverty, joblessness, corruption, mismanagement of the resources of the country. Uh, impunity, you know, <clears throat> money centrism, societal money centrism, money centrism in politics, um, celebra celebration of shenanigans in our politics, in our political system, in governance and all of that. So, so many problems are here with us in Nigeria. So, so you, many you problems. Think, um, I was born into them. I have grown up into them, and we still talk about these problems up to now. So you don't think four years was enough to address this problem? Don't forget that this administration wrote on the deficiencies of the Good Luck Jonathan administration, such as insecurity, uh, lack of employment, a lot of things that people were complaining about. Uh, President Muhammad Buhari came out, made grand promises to Nigerians, and promised you know, to, fulfill, to fulfill all that Nigerians thought magic was going to happen. Why have we not seen that magic? It is easier said than done. When you are outside as a rock, you can be promising and making promises. But the fact remains that he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. Let, let me quickly move to you. Governance your is not about just talking. Yes, but let, it's let, about let, putting let's, it let's hear from Ajay. Practical reality. Ajay, uh, President Muhammad Buhari came on the promises of. Uh, making Nigeria a better place. Do, do you think that he's overwhelmed at the moment? Do you think that, uh, you know, Salako is right and that he's inundated with all these needs and things that have, you know, uh, you know, been a problem for us since independence? Or is the president just incompetent? Uh, well, I want to start by uh, congratulating Mr. K uh, Salako for uh, appreciating the fact that President Muhammad Buhari is a grand failure and that the, uh, all progressive Congress and leadership of the country is an abysmal mess. I, 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 and, and I want to say, first and foremost, that that appreciation aside, development is not a rocket science. I'll give some sharp examples. Venezuela started 1999. Hugo Chavez came to Venezuela as president in 1999 almost the same period when Obasanjo became president of Nigeria. And within five years of Hugo Chavez's presidency, free education at all levels had been there, free health care at all levels. And whereas, as of that five years, just those five years, Obasanjo plundered the country more, privatized power, destroyed a lot of things, turned Nigerian economy from a developmental, a pro-developmental economy, you get it, to a services sector. So, 
We do not need to give excuses for the failure of a government. And I will tell you why this government failed. Maybe that is why uh, uh, Mr. Salako is trying to lay some excuses from the government. First, you need to know that the Muhammad uh, Socrates had characterized what the Muhammad Buhari government is doing, that change is not in dedicating the whole of your energy in fighting the past, but in building the new. The Buhari government, for the first four years of his government, had, didn't do anything, you get it, to read to his manifesto, but did a lot of other things in another way around to fight the old government. I'll give you a very grand example, corruption. It's no rocket science. The Muhammad Buhari government fought Jonathan government because it is a corrupt government. But the same government had absorbed a lot of corrupt individuals. Mr. Salako, in so is, 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 is this right? Has no. the President Muhammad Buhari led administration failed at tackling corruption? Is the president himself corrupt as a person? I don't think so. I don't think the president himself is corrupt. Because if he were to be corrupt, um, the last election would have revealed everything. PDP would have used it. But the election is still being contested. We're, as a matter of fact, we're supposed to hear uh, the judgment of the tribunal on Wednesday, which there is There are two tomorrow. different things. That the election is still being contested is different from the fact that you're asking me if the president is corrupt. Well, if the president is corrupt, if the president is corrupt, then the last election, the activities of the last election would have revealed it. The reality would have been exposed. Do, do you think well, well, the well, elections well, were rigged? I don't think so. Go, go I, I, I want to say this. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I, I want to say this, to be very fair to uh, Mr. Salako, that continuum in government does not mean you performed. Continuum in government does not mean you have performed. I better spent more years than Murtala Mohammed. Abacha spent more years than a lot of presidents in Nigeria. And it was a grand failure for all those years. So that you win an election in Nigeria today does not mean that you have done anything on corruption. Let me tell you why PDP was not able to destroy the, Buh the Muhammad Buhari first four years of government. PDP spent 16 years plundering and overlooting the country. So the Nigerian people were not ready to go back so let's, let's, to the let's old mess of PDP. But so, that, does not mean, that, does not mean that, that does not mean that the Buhari government had done anything good on corruption. What Nigerians want, what Nigerians want was that they massively, in the largest percentage ever in the history of this country, you get it, boycotted that election. Mr. Salah, and so the rest the was the region for, for, for PDP and APC. For the fact that he is agreeing now that PDP ran this country for 16 years. A ground. Like an animal kingdom. Yes. It's a statement of fact. So that now brings it to the type of Nigeria President Mamadou Buhari's government inherited. So which means this government inherited um, an almost collapsing, a cultureless, highly corrupt, highly damaged Nigerian society. So I don't feel <clears throat> that four years is enough for anybody for anybody to come and uh, uh, <clears throat> use any magic wand to transform a country like Nigeria. I'm going to say this. President Muhammadu Buhari is just building a new foundation for Nigeria. It's just, it's like, it's like, it's like um, a president uh, that has been given a house, a property, a property that has been badly damaged and used by the previous tenant. So he has been given that house to manage. He has to renovate. He has to renovate and do a lot of things, repaint, refix, repair, and all of that before he could not invite a new tenant to come in. But the fact so, that no. the president yeah. promised to fix things, he did not ask for an extension. As a matter of fact, he at some point during his campaign said he would not seek re-election. So the fact that he has reneged on that, the fact that it has taken him so long to get the country in order, is this an indictment on his integrity as a person? I still don't think so. It's an no. indictment. You know why? <laughs> Is an indictment. I 
I am happy that I have someone with me on this show who can state his own side the way he, he sees it. I am here to, stay, to also say it the way I see it. Okay. So, That's we are fair. two different people. That's fair enough. As far as I am concerned, it is going to be very, very difficult for anybody to come here, to come and govern Nigeria, and claim that he wants to completely stop corruption in our system. Why, why, why do you think Corruption is a way of life there. Let, let me, it's let, a way of life. That is not true. It's a way of life. That yeah. is not true. It's a way of life of yeah. APC and PDP politicians. No. It's not a way of life of every Nigerian. You see? Let me, let me, let me, say, let me say this. Let me say this, please. It's a way of life. Let me say this. Eh? When you are making excuses for people, you should make some concentrations. Mm. When you want to talk of time, hmm, it's a difference between when you say, uh, like, you know, in football team, and you say you want to build a football team. And what you are doing in, about the football team is that all of them are passing back. Mm -hmm. You get it? They are playing back. They are not playing forward. Now, ask if we want to give President Buhari, let's say four years is not enough. Abi, let's agree with Mr. Salako that four years is not enough. But four years is not enough to do what? Four years is not enough, you get it, to drive Nigeria more into barbarism? Four years is not enough. Is it to move forward or backward? No. The country keeps going retrogressive. The economy keeps going back. You know, there were three, three crosses, you get it, of, of the Buhari's government. He talked about anti-corruption. He talked about uh, 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 ending insecurity in this country. Between the, four, the, the, the period when President Jonathan was president and now, insecurity has doubled. Do you agree with that, Mr. Uh, corruption has doubled. No, the economy has gotten worse. Of course, it's... It, it, that it, is the truth. So, in the area so of we cannot give you enough time to continue to plunder and destroy the country. In the, the area country. of insecurity, no, we can't give there that are time. still challenges. We die every day. And these challenges are peculiar. Very, very peculiar. To this present era. Because, you see, it is a guerrilla warfare. The security challenges this country is facing right now is guerrilla warfare in nature that I don't see, I don't think any president can come here, even Atiku or anybody can come and stop immediately. You know why? Guerrilla warfare is not conventional warfare. Armed robbery attacks, banditry attacks, uh, uh, X-Men attacks, kidnapping, and all sorts, they are security occurrences that don't give notice before they, before they come to attack. So, if I have bomb on me, if I have, if I'm, if I have bomb in my pocket, and I want to bomb this studio now. I'm not sure if anybody knows if I have anything in my pocket here. But, but let me, you know but let, so, me, let, me in, let me quickly ask. Let, let, me, let, me, let me quickly ask you this. Yeah. The Buhari administration, President Mohamed Buhari was a general before you know he transited Def to, to yeah. civilian uh, you know government. He promised to use his uh, military experience, experience yeah. to rid the country of Boko Haram. Yes. As we speak, the country is being ravaged by kidnappings, herdsmen attack. Uh, banditry and we have seen Boko Haram go from uh, you know the Nigerian sect as we know it to a collaboration with the Islamic State in West Africa is President Muhammad Buhari tackling insecurity or you know did he lie about his experience as a general I'll have you respond to that quickly and then I'll go back to uh, Ajayi President Muhammad Buhari is just one individual a human being like all of us you see, I, I am not on this show to come and speak for the government. But I'm here to come and say it the way I see it. That is why I'm the founder of Patriot for Truth and Stability in Nigeria. That's my own social movement that I run. The truth is that insecurity has been here with us all along, even before I was born. And what is the nature of the insecurity? Guerrilla. And, my brother, I can bet it with you, even you as the president of Nigeria, can hardly stop guerrilla warfare, guerrilla attacks. 
Trump hasn't stopped it in but the I will, US. I will not give 4% to United The United Kingdom has not stopped it. I will not give 4% to... There is a pen knife, to, pen knife attack issue. I won't give 5% to health healthcare. You, you said what? I won't give 5% to no, health No, we are talking about insecurity. I won't give 4%. Those healthcare. are the things that cause insecurity. No. Ha. You see, my brother, my brother. There are more... There are, do you know, do you know the rate of child courtism in Nigeria, in Nigeria today? Here, do you know the rate of child courtism in Nigeria today? Poverty of... The orientation Mr. of Mr. most Mr. Okay, let me give Poverty you. Mr. Mr. Salako. of the mind Mr. and orientation. That's right, let, true, let's, let's hear from That's not true, Mr. Salako. Let me say yeah. this. Let me say this. Yeah. See, do you know that during the period Boko Haram has started and now, you know that there was an eight days, one week, that Boko Haram ceased fire on their own accord? Do you know that? In, what, ja what, in, in January 2012. What was the reason for that? In January 2012. What was the reason for in that? In January 2012. You are a witness. What was the, to the fact? For that? You are a witness to the fact that I might not be Wait, a witness. You, no, no, no. Let me say this. You were, you, you were living at that period. Yeah, and I might it was popular. Not, I might not know and it was popular. Let me say this. I might not know about it. It was popular. It was popular when Boko Haram decided that all Southerners and Christians should go back to the south from the north, and it was, I think, January one, January second. Immediately by January third, that the mass action. You get it to get Nigeria back from the fuel subsidy crisis came up. Boko Haram went to have a shut up for a whole week. And Nigerians on their own were defending themselves. Muslims were, 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 were praying and Christians were standing. Christians were playing and Muslims were standing. That's one. President Buhari lied about a situation of war. And when you said he was not a real general, you know that most of Nigerian generals are no real generals. Because when you talk of a real general, a real general does not decide what happens to society, only militarily. Because so many things culminate to the crisis in itself. You do not resolve a crisis by just looking at it on the surface level. If you want to resolve Boko Haram, and you say you can only resolve it militarily, you are a fool politically. Do you know why? I will give you a very cute example too. President Muhammad Bernstein, uh, uh, Shehu Musa Yaradua was president of Nigeria. Yaradua was president of Nigeria. Umar Yaradua was president of Nigeria. And he decided as president that instead of us to be attacking the Niger Delta, like the way Obasanjo was using soldiers and all of the rest, he decided to start what he called the amnesty program. But he was very, very democratic about it. And for a period of his government, you get it, the whole of the violence there stemmed down. Now, how did President Obama Buhari. Niger Delta President Muhammad Buhari, could have come in. Uh, you were speaking and allowed you. Yeah. You were speaking and allowed well, the you. Of the President Muhammad Buhari <laughs> fouled. President Muhammad <laughs> Buhari fouled. You get it? By lying to Nigerians that it was only militarily that we can resolve our problem. That means he was saying, just like you are saying, that it's just a gorilla warfare. It's not true, my, my sister. See, he want to know today that, I'll give you a very classical example. In Lagos, this same gorilla warfare that you are talking about may happen very soon. Do you know why? In Lagos today, there are about four different child courtism. But any thinking person will know that the major reason to it is that since 1999 till date, you get it, Lagos have not added one technical college, not even a polytechnic, not even a college of education, not even a university. So it means that Lagos has, the Lagos state government has consciously Terminated the real education in the state. All right, let's, and so it gives that to a lot of let's, let's, let's talk about because of that there will be a lot of what let's, you call Let's, let's talk there. about a, a phenomenon, mm -hmm. you know, that is manifesting, that is manifesting, and and seems like it's it has a potential to jeopardize security in the future. Now, and I'll go to you, Mr. Salako. Uh, the Islamic movement in Nigeria, popularly known as Shiites, yeah. uh, their leader has been in detention for a couple of years. There have been court orders for his release. Uh, he was even granted bail by the Nigerian government to go to India, after which he accused the Nigerian government of trying to kill him in India, and he hurriedly returned. Do you think that the proscription of the Islamic movement in Nigeria and the continued detention of Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki is a time bomb for the President Muhammadu Buhari administration? I have always felt that religion is one of our main problems in Nigeria. I am not a religionist. So I don't like anything about El Zagzaki and his whatever movement. I don't. Don't you so, feel that he has the right to religion? Nigeria is a circular state. He has the right to practice his religious ideals peacefully. 
whatever he believes in. Just like President Buhari? Of course. So, you see, that you want to practice your religion doesn't mean you have to, you have to practice it in such a way that you have to be terrorizing the peace and sovereignty of the country. What do you mean by peace and sovereignty? He has not been operating peacefully. We, we, know, we, we know the history of Zagizaki and his movement in Kaduna. And they have not... Do they, do, they, do they carry arms? We know! How? You know something? Is there you evidence see? of an armed it is, you know, it, sect? It, you see, let me tell you something. Zagizaki is not the only religious leader that is in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Pastor Adeboye is a religious leader. Uh -huh. We have many of them. Bishop Oedepo... Many, many religious leaders across Nigeria. Why only Ezakizaki? Uh, please, I, I don't think you need to dodge this question. Why only him? Do you know why? You see, the fact of the matter is, go into the history of how this man has been operating. Mm -hmm. People who know him, know him. You see, I know the platform where I am. I deliberately came to honor this invitation. Good. Because I know this platform. That's how I came. I tell the truth and not about the truth. Okay. We cannot continue to accommodate. Our system must not continue to accommodate the kind of religious character like Ezakizaki because he's not the only one. Why is the government not picking other religious leaders if religion is but, but But then I would like to ask you. Because he's you, you, operating you, you, to terrorize the country. You, you, you said they running have, is running. You said they have been terrorizing the country. Yeah. They have been undermining Kaduna, the sovereignty Kaduna, of the yes. country. Has there been any incidents reported and confirmed by the Nigerian police force where Shiites were armed and attacked any group of people or any, see, any group you, you of see, Nigerians? You see, you see, it is not until when you carry weapons that you can terrorize. Area boys in Lagos don't carry guns, men don't carry guns, they don't carry weapons. But we all know that they were a problem to the, the Lagos environment at, at, at the time. You don't need to carry weapons. Mm. Mere dagger alone, knives. It's a kind of weapon. So, so I'll, I'll say this to you. This, Stick, this rocks. morning, Tuesday, yeah. uh, there was a religious procession of Shias that was supposed to happen uh, nationwide. It's also observed in other countries like Iran, where uh, uh, Shia Muslims ha are the majority there. There was an unleashing of police brutality on some of these protesters who were unarmed. I saw a little boy whose skull was blown off. I, I didn't see a stick in his hand. Do you think that the President Muhammadu Buhari administration is justified in its use of force against unarmed protesters? I don't think so. The IPOP, IPOP people have been told to stop protesting. That is the law. And the gospel according to who? Which part of the no, law? No, 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 no. Which no. constitution of Nigeria? They have been stopped. Which part of? You which section? Why? Which section of you the law? You know why? Be explicit. When they started protesting, uh -huh. the government was accommodating them. But it got to a point where they were engaging. Oh, okay, I'll come, I'll, I'll come back and ask you what you think system. is wrong with killed, IPOB. They were, they were but, but let me have you respond to that question. Things. Let me have you a, a response to that question. Uh, on IPOB? No, no, I, on, on, on the, the Shiite. On the Shiite, yeah. yes. uh, uh, I think that uh, we need to be very sincere. I am not... Christian or a Muslim. I will say this openly. I believe in religious freedom. You get it? I can't, as much as I believe in that, I don't want to believe in this, I don't want to believe that. That's also a religion. You get it? So if you say you are not a religious person, it does not give you the excuse to go and slap another person that is religious. That's violence. That's the first violence. No, 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 no wait, 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 please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, let me say this. Let, For me, many say, years. let me say this. The, 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 Kaduna State Government and, yes. the, and the President Muhammad Buhari government are Sunnis. Erufa is a Sunni. Buhari is a Sunni. Now, have they come no, out please to say sir, that? Please, sir, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. We all know. We all know. And no, you, you don't know. assume. You know that Buhari is a Sunni. You see? You know Buhari is a Sunni. You don't Erufa assume. Erufa is a Sunni. I see, don't know. See, the war, the war against, I don't know. The war against IMN. You are the one who the knows. The war against Shites. The war mm. against Shites. Eh? Eh? Is an international contract collected by Buhari and Erufa no, no, to be killing don't... their own indigenous. Uh, whether right. shites are whether shites whether shites are well, shites well, well, or Sunnis, they are individuals. That's the first thing you need to know. To your own they are opinion, human beings. Oh my brother, they are human beings. To your own opinion, Mr. President oh, Buhari. President Buhari is not a god that have created a human being. You and see? have the right to determine when to now terminate the life you of that human being. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Yes. 
the Buhari government is a new fascist government. And a that new is, fascist government? Yes, and that is what the government and is, what is showing. The, what is the meaning of that? Yes, let me tell you something. We are, when you say new fascism, all of us talk about the Hitler period and all of that. They didn't come in as military governments. Hitler was voted. Do you know that? The Socialist Party, he was, he was voted. And after being voted, he created a situation. You get it? And that's why you see under that government, they promote tribalism, they promote ethnicity, they promote sectionalism, they promote a lot of divisions. They don't give employment, they don't give education, they don't give health care. Just like the President Mohamed Bari. Sister, sister, the IMN, the IMN, the IMN. If the IMN, if the IMN is a terrorist group, if the IMN is a terrorist group, yeah, it's a terrorist group. If the IMN is a terrorist group, yeah, it's a terrorist group. Wait, please. If the IMN is a terrorist group, yeah, it is. Will you go to protest today? This is simple logic. You go to protest today, they kill 15 of you. And the same government that killed 15, they don't even show you their dead body. They carry them into truck. How? And wait, 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 please, please. How please, are they protesting? Please, the second day. Manner? No man, please. They did not slap anybody. Do they Nobody have ever said that. Do Nobody have ever said that. Permission? Shites are protesting. And they, Do they seek police and, permission? And, and, and which constitution says that we must seek police permission? No. Which there constitution? Is no, there is no absolute which constitution? freedom. Femi Falano, Femi Falano no, has challenged the case there even is no to the absolute West African, freedom anywhere the West world. African court. Who told you you that? don't have absolute freedom to do in, whatever you like in, 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 in London. In yeah. London, people were petting Boris Johnson with egg and he did not shoot them in return like Boris. Now, listen. What is a new fascist the, government that has been shown the that? Popularity See, of and, the but let me not tell you the other thing. It's not let me tell you the other thing. Let me tell you the other thing. Buhari government yes. is also missing. Yeah. Yeah. What the Buhari government is also missing is that it is a, it is a, it is a government that does not think. Do you know why? If the Buhari government follows the history of what causes terrorism in Nigeria, is this same insanity that you keep repeating, just like Hastings said? The Matatsen, that were the first known major terrorists from the north, you get it? What made them this today was that they started peacefully, and the government now killed some of them, and they had to go underground. But right. in recent history, right. let's, in let's, recent let's, history let's Boko, Haram, yes. Boko Haram, Boko Could Haram, you? it was the jungle killing, it was the injustice, unjustifiable, uh, 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 senseless and undemocratic killing of Yusuf, you get it, that made Boko Haram to go underground. All right, so let's, let's, so let's, let's leave just the want, IMN for the now. The Buhari government wants to force IMN to become let's, a terrorist. Let's delve into other, we, we, we other matters. Not I don't like them. anything about IMN. How, how so about you don't need the to like them. Now. Exactly, exactly. How about, that you don't like them doesn't mean you should shoot them. Now. About what? Revolution that you don't like now. them doesn't mean you should shoot them. President Muhammad Buhari has consistently cracked down on Revolution Now protesters since August 5th. Uh, and since August 3, when uh, their co convener was arrested, and August 5, when the first day of rage was organized, was that response, you know, appropriate? Or was it a sign that the Buhari administration is jittery of any form of opposition or dissent? Well, uh, this is my own honest response. Omo Walesho is a brother, someone I. I I like partially because of his boldness and his passion to, for um, beautiful changes in Nigeria. From what he has been advancing, he wants a new Nigeria order where, where all Nigerians could have access to freedom to enjoy their country. But for revolution now, I feel he was not properly guided. That's my own opinion. Shure was not properly guided. What do you mean by that when you say he was not properly guided? You see? There is time for everything. There is time for everything. Sometimes you want to do the right thing at the wrong time. You want to do the wrong thing at the right time. What would you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what would have been the appropriate time? Is, is this us as Nigerians giving excuses You don't for call for a revolution. Revolution will call for itself. It will call for itself. It has called for itself. You see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Revolution will call for itself. It has called for itself. And let me tell you something. No government in the world takes the issue of revolution with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Every government, when uh, any government hears revolution, they think, oh, the people behind it wants to kick them out, want to kick them out exactly. of government. So, we know what happened during the Arab Spring. Arab uh, Spring. It was the Arab Spring Revolution which consumed Mozi, the former president of uh, Egypt. 
and one other country too. I think uh, maybe Morocco or something. That was, was actually Tunisia. Algeria, Tunisia. Yes. Yeah, that was actually where it started from. When a poor, a poor, a, a poor yes. vegetable seller that the government authorities were carrying his vegetables all, all, all the time decided to set himself a place, and that was what started the revolution. So, revolution is a very delicate um, development, which anybody that wants to lead it should be prepared for anything. All right, From so the government, you want yes. to lead it. So, uh, Again, I'll, 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 I'll ask you a very quick question before I, I go to Ajayi to So, so we should be prepared. We should have been prepared. We are prepared. But let me ask let me ask you this. And that's why Mandela we're spent 27 years in prison. Do you think the response to what? Mandela, it was a revolution. No problem. We are prepared. 27 years. We are prepared. Revolutionists don't find it easy with the government they are leading against. All right, but do you think the response of the Buhari administration to journalists, to peaceful protesters and demonstrators who came out to demand for a better con uh, country. What Nigeria needs right now is a revolution of the poverty of our orientation as a people. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come back to that. We I'll need, come back to that, but let me quickly kind of go social revolution. Time. So Salako hmm? said earlier That's that it. Uh, the revolution now protesters and, and their convener, Omo Yelushi, was not prepared and, and that the timing was wrong. Do no, I, I didn't say it wasn't prepared. You said the timing it, it wasn't was wrong. properly guided. Oh, properly it. guided. Was properly it? guided. It wasn't guided properly about it. Is he right about that? Is, uh, he obviously knows himself that he's very wrong. Uh, you, when you talk of proper guidance, you need to ask yourself, what will guide you again? Is it Zamfara, where people are being killed every day? Is it Castina State Government, even Buhari's place? You get it? Where bandits are doing government side by side with the governor. And that is where the revolution should have started. Cool down, cool down, sir. That is where the revolution should have started. Cool down, sir. Cool down, sir. Cool down, sir. When you talk of proper guidance, sir. Yeah. When you talk of proper guidance, the most unproperly guided people in this country today are the ruling class, Buhari and his friends. They are the most unproperly guided. They are the ones trying to foment war. And we say we don't want war. But we have to give an alternative. That's what we are saying. We are not saying we are the ones that will do the revolution. That's why we are properly guided. We are calling for revolution. That Nigerians should rise and revolt and don't partake in the war of the oppressors. They should not partake in the war that would happen where these same people would be killings. They are killings. They were already headsmen killings. You get it? And it is the Nigerian ruling class that is formatting the same killings. It is the same Nigerian ruling class that is getting money, you get it, from Saudi Arabia to be killing shites in Nigeria. So they want war. But what we are saying is that we don't want war of Buhari, or Basanjo, Atiku, and all of them. We want the war of the oppressed themselves. We want a war that will bring free and functional education and, at all and levels. What we want a war that will bring free health care at all levels. When Not where we will spend billions on President Buhari. Not where we will spend billions on President Buhari's health care. And he won't give up to 3% to us. And there won't even be syringe in the hospital in Asorok. And I'm not the one that said that. It's Buhari's wife. We don't want the kind of war today that we have plenty child courtists in Lagos. We want the kind of situation today where there will be mass education, there will be mass employment. We want where there will be more development without just talking about growth. We don't want the kind of war where five people, we have the money that can build 200 million people from poverty. We want yeah. a situation where 200 million people can wake up in the morning and say, I have All right, food so in the we will be rounding no, up now for night. time. So, so I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll take closing no, the statements of the from Nigerians the Nigerians already government. have revolution So, so Mr. Salako, in your closing statement, President Muhammadu Buhari toppled an administration, even though it was not called the revolution in his time, in 1983, he toppled uh, an administration violently. Uh, violently. Do you believe uh, that he was justified in doing that? And also, uh, with the way things are in the country, is President Muhammad Buhari going to succeed as a president at the end of his administration? Who? President Muhammad Buhari. Going to succeed who? As a person at the end of his administration, will he succeed as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Will he succeed? Yes. Well, I don't want to preempt. <clears throat> I don't want to preempt him. I'm not President Muhammad Buhari. But with what I've seen so far, a lot of repair works. I mean, let me say repair work are going on. You see, it is very easy for my brother to be talking the way he's talking. 
those who are in government today were also talking like that when they were outside yesterday. How many of them? They were also revolutionists. Uh, who are who? They call themselves progressives. Name them now. It's progressives. Just, they call themselves. They, we were who are revolutionaries. they were criticizing. They were criticizing. They have talking. been opportunists and rogues they were, they for a long were, time. They were saying it All as of if, them. Call one name. I will they tell were you saying it as if it was that easy. Just call one. I will tell you their history. The peculiar call side one. Nigeria. They are progressive. See, progressive. It's our problem in this country is, is no longer with only the elite or the people in the ruling class. But with our orientation, our peculiar orientation as Nigerians. It is easy for us to say we want corruption to stop at the upper level. Mm -hmm. Are we also asking ourselves if we are also not contributing to that cor corruption? But we are not the one who made the Akpabio minister over the person that was prosecuting him before now. It is democracy. <laughs> we, we are the, democracy the, is representative That government. is democratic theft. Although one nation was read today as a democratic Nigeria, robbery. Huh? A complete robbery. We still have to work with certain people, or else who are those his people? government will be inflation. Who are the people? His government might even have problems. You cannot force him to come to your side. Democracy is not the government. You cannot of force the him to be part of the, of the generation of Amrabat. Or the perfect human being. He said he doesn't want to be part of them. Leave them. No, he doesn't Democracy want to be part of the Amrabat. Is it by people, force? By the people and for the people. He doesn't want to be part of the, the state nature terrorists. of not by of, force of those people. It's not defined. You it's can't force him to be part of the state terror. The definition of democracy. You can't you force see? him to be part of the state terror. You, you see, democracy won't give us a perfect president. Never. Huh? Even though when election were as the president, if he's lucky to be the president someday, you will see that by the time he gets there, all right. That is when they will know that it is not easy to govern a peculiar, a peculiarly natured. Country, but is easy to like steal. Nigeria. But is easy all right, to all right. So, uh, Mr. Jai, let us, let us hear your closing statement. Let us hear your closing statement. Show whatever I steal. But the people can he, can he guarantee that trickle yes, down yes. to the level, that level, nobody will steal on his government. But Mr. Jai, in your that closing that, uh, statement, no. as we round up because we are running out of time, yeah. you know, what is your expectation for Nigeria? Do you feel that there is any ray of hope for Nigerians under this administration? Or do you feel that the time has come for Nigerians to seek alternatives? What is your stand? Let me tell you something. If you put a form and say, only retire as an activist after August 5, I can go to retirement. Do you know why? Nigerians, about 5 million of them, went to the internet and were searching for revolution. Do you know what it means? Since August 5 till date, Nigerians keep defeating the Nigerian ruling class everywhere. In Ijegun, when the policeman killed the pregnant woman, they retaliated. Nigerians are marching from everywhere today in this country today. If President Buhari says that Nigerians don't want revolution, I want to beg of him. Let him, he does not need to come to Lagos. Let him walk on the street of Abuja. He will be stoned. And let me say this. He, all of these shenanigans, all of this neo-fascism, all of these attacks will not stop the revolution that will come in Nigeria today. As far as Buhari is not ready to give free functional and compulsory health care at all levels. He's not ready to give that to education. Is it, is it only Buhari? Buhari is not ready is to democratically end security. What about the state governors? What about all the right, government All right, all right. Thank you so much, Olukayode Salako. Thank you, thank you, Olukayode Salako, for coming on the show. He is the Patriots for, uh, he's the president of Patriots for Truth and Stability in Nigeria and wise man Kunle Ajayi, a public affairs commentator. It has been face off. Join us next time for another exciting edition of the program on Sahara TV. Thank you.